hello guys welcome back this is your first time here you're welcome don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like and if you've been here before keep being a family so today we'll be pointing about the yoruba people who are the yorubas so the yorubas are one of the largest ethnic groups in africa and are one of the three major ethnic groups in modern day nigeria including hausa and the Igbos. So the Yorubas are a population of 46 million people and they built one of the largest empires in West Africa, crafted some of humanity's finest art and looked damn good doing it. They have famous artists worldwide and no other African cultures affected the Americans and Caribbeans as much as the Yoruba who left their marks through people, dance, food and the religions of Santeria and Candoms. So who precisely are the Yorubas and what are their history? Let's find out. Yoruba land is a cultural region primarily located in Nigeria, Benin, and Togo. But most of the Yorubas live in Nigeria, where they make up to 21% of the population. Ilori are the largest cities in Yoruba land with a population of 1 million. Ibadan are 3.8 million and Lagos in the Yoruba language with 15 million and that's three times more people in my entire country. There are many different Yoruba groups with their own unique cultures but then they are united by the Ij Yoruba, the Yoruba language spoken by 40, 47 million people. Yoruba is a tonal language like Chinese and what I mean by tonal aspect of Yoruba it means that it can be mimicked easily. So an example is the Yoruba talking drum. It speaks by mimicking the tonal and rhythmic features of Yoruba words. For millennium, the Yoruba passed on their history orally. And so the talking drum acted as one way to pass history from one generation to the next. Islam arrived in the Yoruba land in the 14th century from Mali. And that's Africa's great center of Islamic learning, and brought it with Ajami, a form of Arabic script, which was the first script the Yoruba language was written in. So in the 19th century, Christian missionaries introduced the Latin alphabet, which Yoruba is now written in. So Yoruba is just one name for Yoruba speakers. They also call themselves Omo Ile Kara Ojire, literally meaning the children of the land where we greet, good morning, did you wake up well? There is a stereotype in Nigeria that takes Yoruba 10 minutes to say hello. We all know that the Yorubas are big on greetings, kind questions, and showing respect. So if one Yoruba walks by another Yoruba and they don't greet each other, you can safely assume that there's something dramatic going on. So I actually said the Yorubas are big on greetings, kind questions, and showing respect because traditionally when greeting elders, a woman may kneel down Why a man might lie chain and chest on the ground. So let's talk about the Yoruba history. Around 4,500 years ago, ancient Yoruba speakers had already settled in the thick forest of West Africa and began farming yam and oil palms. So it's difficult to know the exact size of the early Yoruba civilization, but through oral traditions and archaeology, we know Yoruba culture was here and here. So it's safe to say it was pretty big. Odudua is recognized as the father of the Yoruba people and it faced their symbolic center. So around the 700 BCE, the Yorubas were already producing iron and this was a huge development. Because they somehow discovered iron workings before bronze, which was driven historians mad for years now. And because iron slabs with iron holes, machets, axes and other tools, the Yoruba pushed the dark, dense old forests away from their settlement. And this opened up new farmlands, settlements expanded, and trade grew. And that was how the Yorubas became one of the most urbanized groups in ancient Africa. So with this being said, we've come to the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, now would be a very good time for you to join the family. Share this video with your friends, your family, and your loved ones. See you in the next video.